I am Caitlin Stuffin, and I have an important message for you. those of you. This is this is a message that the Holy Spirit and, and God and Jesus has led me to speak upon. You people out there that claim to be of God, you claim to know God. You you some of you even go to church on Sundays. You make it a point to be known that everybody knows you're a good going Christian person, whether you're male or female. Meanwhile, you are operating in the spirit of jealousy, perversion. Lust, envy, greed. And I'm telling you now, you don't know God. You are not a real life Christian. Says the spirit of the living God. He sees what you do behind closed doors. He sees what your heart is like. He knows everything about you. You don't know him. Because if you did, you wouldn't do that stuff anymore. We all must, you're like, I'm a, I'm a born again Christian. Meanwhile, I cheat on my wife. I beat my wife. You know what I mean? Some of you, it's are really twisted, claiming to be of God, ripping people off in, in your business, things like that. No, you are not of, solidly of God. Do you think you're going to inherit the kingdom acting like that? I believe in Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. Yeah, because you're scared. You just want to, quote unquote, go to heaven when you don't have a clue how this really works. This is a school. This is a test. We are in the, we are in the test. He creates our souls. He gives us our free will. How are you going to know whether or not you can trust somebody fully before, they, before you let them move in your house? You have to test them, right? Time and test Everybody says, well, God knows everything. Then why don't he know my heart? Because the free will, the free will exists. Hallelujah. He could have created you any way he wanted. He is the manufacturer. He is the one in control. And meanwhile, we're all down here living on this personal plane in this testing zone, which is why it's like hell. Because Satan is allowed to touch this in, in this time. That's why bad things happen. You guys are lacking a lot of knowledge and that's why you are the way you are. And that's what I'm doing. I'm not here to persecute you. I'm here to set you free. So those that have ears, let them hear me. And don't take this as me coming for you. I'm saying this because God wants me to because he loves you. So give God the glory here and don't come for me in the comments. Judge me by my fruit. Judge me by my spirit. If you technically knew God, you wouldn't be doing those bad things. Because you would be so whole and full. I can testify right here, right now. You would be so whole and so full, you would not need none of that stuff anymore. And it falls off of you. Let God meet you where you're at. Let, let God really get to know you. Really get to know God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. That's what this is about. That's what this message is for. That's why you've ran across this message. Because you guys are all going to burn in the lake of fire because you're lost. You don't know God. You think it's religion because that's what you've been taught. I suggest you uh, erase your mind of all things you've been taught as far as religion. And, and read the word for yourself. And allow the Holy Spirit to mentor to you as you're reading. He will explain things that you don't understand. But there's levels to it. And you have to keep going. You can't just give up. You can't say, okay, she's got a point. I'm going to try. I'm going to talk to God today and then just forget about this message. This is your eternity we're talking about. This is your salvation we are talking about. And we're not going to get it if we, can't, if we can't get it here. If we can't be in harmony here, which what, that's what relationship with God offers. You're in harmony with your trio versus his trio, there's three chords to the Heavenly Father. Your mind, your soul, your, which is your spirit, and your body, the temple, where your spirit dwells. The spirit lives on after death, if you're lucky. We can experience heaven on this physical plane. Even though Satan's hand is, is touching everything and, has, and he's up in wicked in high places, doesn't mean 
all hell could be breaking loose and you're going to be grounded because you know God. You know God. You know his you know his characters or his characteristics. You know what to expect. He never fails. He's not going to fail. He hasn't failed you yet. He loves you enough to have this message in front of you. Give that man some credit. You know, my testimony should be proof. I'm a living witness. I'm a living, walking, breathing witness of God's power and God's glory. And it all started with isolation. I let God talk to me by, me by myself. I allowed it to take place. I quit worrying about the ways of the world. First, seek ye first the kingdom of God and the rest should be added unto you. You've been taught wrong. I'll tell you why. Because you um, are basically a slave. You pay your taxes, don't you? Look at the elite. In the music industry and all these, all everything that basically runs our matrix, right? Everything's industrialized. It's a matrix. This is this is the matrix, basically. Everything has made you who you are, and it has tested and it has broke you down, and you're not operating in in, in where you should be. God has your story wrote out, and you are completely different from what the script actually was because you've been led astray. And that's okay. There's time to redeem. That's why I'm on here pleading with you guys, man. There's time to redeem yourself. And the time is now, right now. It don't matter what you've done in the past. Don't look in the rearview mirror. We're looking in the front. We're looking in the front. We are becoming who God says we are. This is a warning to, to those of you that are quote-unquote Christians. And you are walking around here... <clears throat> operating in the spirit of jealousy and you are doing things that don't make sense to try to hurt people that hasn't done nothing wrong to you. That's not right. Do you think you're going to make it in the kingdom? That None of that goes on up there. None of it. There's no death. There's no sickness. There's no pain. There's nothing but great in the glory of God. That's why we have to worship him now because that's what heaven is. We have to worship God all the time because he's that good. And if you knew him personally, oh man, you would want to. There wouldn't be no part of you that wouldn't want to worship him. You guys, those of you that have done wicked and that are still to this very moment operating in the spirit of jealousy and envy and you are doing things that are not normal to innocent people you have to repent and turn from your wicked ways it's not worth it it is it, it's pulling you out of character you are allowing the spirit of jealousy pull you out of character and making you look like a nut because other people that aren't operating that way they can see that you are bitter and just not who you were created to be you know if you could just stop and let god and he would reveal all the things that are that make you you. And and only person you end up competing with is you in the end. Because that in heaven, that's all we do. That's all we're competing against. We don't compete with nobody else. We're tr we're trying to look better than what we did yesterday. That's it. Those of us truly walking with God, we don't look around. We we don't we don't need we don't have no need to. Materialistic things do not matter. If you don't have the peace of mind, you are I don't care how how rich you are. Look at these rich people, they are miserable. And that's why when a true child of God comes around, they're like, "Hold on a minute. What are you doing in this area? Only the rich are allowed to live here." What do you mean? You got your morals and you get to live with us? Yeah. You ain't sitting with us. We sold our souls. And here you're going to be amongst us? <laughs> that's God. That's God. You have to get right with the whole Heavenly Father because He will elevate you into places that you've never been. Even if you sold your soul. Oh God, who am I speaking to? If you've condemned your soul 
Your Satan doesn't own your soul. The manufacturer has the final say. You can be redeemed from all the any filth, homosexual acts, anything. I don't know who's gonna be who's gonna be watching this. Somebody's gonna run across this video, and you have sold your soul, and you think you're out of that. There's no hope left for you. That you're too dirty, but you've been craving God, and I'm telling you, God will lead you to this message. And things that are going to be said is going to hit your spirit. And if you made it this far to the video, comment down below. You know, we make mistakes as human beings in ignorance and just in uh, being possessed. We don't know. We have no idea because we don't know the authority that Christ gave us. He died for it. He was brutally freaking murdered and crucified. He said, I will do it. He didn't. He, God didn't make him do that. It was God's will for his life because he loves you. And we lost, the, we lost the truth. You can set yourself free in the name of Jesus Christ. All you need is the knowledge. You know, we have to understand we're coming to a time that the window is going to shut with God. Judgment is coming. We already, it's already been happening. It's been happening, like catastrophic events. We're going to see um, earthquakes in crazy places. We're going to see tsunamis in like the West Coast. All these things are going to take place because of judgment. A massive earthquake in New Hampshire. And a giant tsunami wave in the West Coast of California. It's going to happen. I don't know when, but I know why. It's for judgment. I don't know anything about New Hampshire, but I know California is wicked. This is flowing. This is this is this is the Holy Spirit flowing through me, and I thank you, Holy Spirit. You activate and you speak to your people today. You do whatever you feel the need in this vessel, because you are welcome here. You know that. In Jesus' name, set your captives free, Father God. Got him a shot at it. Got Got him a. This is unbelievable, guys. The window is getting near. We are drawing near to the end, to the, to the, to the cutoff. And you, this is to you Christians that think you are saved. No, you're not. It says in the Bible that, uh, you, that, and it says in Matthew, thou shalt, oh, hold on, thou, come on, Holy Spirit. Uh, thou, I not know, I did not know thou. Depart from me. What have you done? To, to better the kingdom. Do you even know about the kingdom of heaven? Because that's where I come from. And I'm just now getting into my full awakening. I'm just now doing it. Jesus, when Jesus left home, he was 30 years old. And I didn't even know this. And a lot of stuff that I've been saying before I knew, it's in the Bible and it blows my mind. I'm not saying, I'm not comparing myself to, to the Lord. Don't take it that way, you uh, spiritual people out there. I'm saying that there is a chosen bloodline. I'm not, I don't know if, I, if I, I'm in relation to Jesus. I don't know. All I know is, is that there's a divine connection with me and the Lord. And I, ha and I relate to Jesus. And that's what we have to do. We have to look at him as a real person. And he's our role model. He, he sacrificed himself. He could have lived his life. He could have lived his life. He was the chosen one. He was a genius. Not only was he a genius, but he was he was smart. He did not come to bring peace. He came to divide. So those of you that think he's a weak person, you are wrong. So wrong. So wrong. He carried that cross. Why they beat him and whipped him and spit in his face. Any a given time, he could have commanded a legion of angels to come down and wipe them out. And he said, no, Father God, whatever your will is for my life, let your will be done. Because I know when I rise on the third day, I'm going to be beside the right hand of the Father and his kingdom. He knew. He knew the spiritual principles that was embedded in him. Into who he was. Into who he is. He is the word. He's the living word. Jesus is king and he always will be he's immaculate 
And he loves you enough to have you know, hey, this is a, this is a warning. You're not saved. You might think you are just because you've went to church and been baptized and you've said, yes, I, I believe that Jesus rose from the grave and what, and is my Lord and Savior. He, I accept him as my personal Lord and Savior. And then you go right back to your wickedness. You never changed. And that's why you don't believe because things were hard and you never, you never, you know what I mean? That's why you don't fully believe you do it out of fear and out of what people think and how other people view you. And the real people in the world that aren't bots, they know everything that you are. And that's why they, that you can't stand real life people. Because the spirit inside of you. My God, the more you uh, elevate, the more people will despise you. They, they'll they hate your ass. You think they're going to be happy for you when you cross the finish line? <laughs> you could be first place. And they're going to root for the one coming in second. And third and fourth and fifth. They're not going to root just because it was you. Because you leveled up. They couldn't do it. Here you're thinking when you're in your first stages of leveling up. Those of you that are leveling up with me. Uh, you're like okay. Um, everybody's going to be proud. I can't wait to show people and tell people. They're all going to be so proud of me. And they're going to love me then. They're going to accept me then. My family's going to accept me then. No they won't. No they won't. No they won't. No they won't. I'm sorry but no they won't. Nobody's going to be happy for you. So don't even expect it because it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt when you, when you finally get somewhere, especially if nobody else has ever made it and your family, because you're such and such a daughter. <laughs> you're so-and-so son. You ain't shit because your parents aren't. And they're, you know, your family, you, your family's uh, poor. What are you looking like doing anything with your life is what they say. And here you show them, you got, you got some, you got, a, you got the power of God set up underneath your butt and you are leveling up. They don't know they have access to this because their, their, they, their, their minds can't let them take it in the knowledge and this knowledge ain't everywhere. This is by the grace of God that this knowledge is here because you lean on him. He's going to show you things that are unsearchable. God is the way, the truth and the life. And he will set you free with the truth from mental bondage, from the just the emptiness of everyday life. You're not fulfilled until you know God and Jesus Christ. You're not. I don't care who you are. And those Christians, those of you that are out there that say I'm a Christian and you're empty and you're doing bad stuff, you don't know God. That's your proof. Come on now. There's nobody else here. It's just me and you. Let's get real with ourselves. This is just me and you talking. Nobody knows. But look at yourself for a minute. And who was it like, come on, is that your story? Quit comparing your life to other people. I can't say that enough. And get in your private closet area with, with God. And it it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen quick. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> it's not going to happen quick. I'm, I don't know, but I know, I do know this in this season, those of you that are under the sound of my voice, you guys are going to be accelerated supernaturally in every aspect of your life, your looks, your health, your youth, your brain power, the way you treat yourself, the way you treat others, your finances, them ideas that you, that you are stagnant on. All your dreams, that all your gifts that God gave you, everything's going to accelerate because you are on his, the winning team. Whose team are you on? Whose side are you on? You going to worship mammon still? You can't do both anymore. God's saying, the time is drawing near. You must submit and repent from your evil ways. And lay down your life and pick up your cross and follow me, says God. Because I will show you the way. I will show you the truth. I will show you the life that is gonna, that's going to lead you to the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. Where the Almighty rests today, right now, as we speak. 
as as the Holy Spirit's flowing through me right now as we speak. Woo! I can't. You guys have to understand this. This is why I need you to pen it under God. Father God, I thank you for this, and I need you to penetrate the souls of your people right now, Father God. If they're still watching me, the ones that are watching, you penetrate their hearts, Father God, and you bring them to their knees in tears right now. And you tell them they don't have to live the life of broken dreams. They don't have to live the life of the addiction, the prostitute, the, the, the porno watcher. You don't have to do none of those things. Ask and you shall receive. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. But you have to be patient. And you have to keep, you have to keep, you have to keep at it every day. Command your day. You command your day. You command those emotions out of your body in Jesus' name. You feel the spirit of jealousy? Say, I, I, I sent you. And you do this in your mind if you're in front of people. I sense you, the spirit of jealousy, I command you to leave right now in the name of Jesus. And, 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 and as you keep practicing, it'll happen immediately. The, the, the more you level up and the more you get to know Christ and the true authority, it's going to happen like that. You know, all these people were like, oh, I'm a witch. I'm a witch. Are you? You're on the losing team, dumbass. Excuse my language. You know what I'm saying? God did it first. Yes, spirits are real. Witches are real. Look at the look at look at the look at the um industry, the music industry. The elites, they are all witches and, and warlocks. Yes, they are. This is real life stuff. What do you think's been going on? Why do you think we're being judged? Lean not on your own understanding, but lean on me, says God. Trust in him. Read the word. The word's gonna the word's gonna become clear to you. I don't care how many times you try to read it. If you couldn't understand it, if you do it now, it's gonna be different because of this right here. The power of this right here. The seeds that God's planting in your mind right now. Father God, find the right words to whoever this is gonna reach. And you penetrate their spirit, God, and you let them know that you are He. I get no glory out of this situation, you guys. I had no idea this story was gonna lead to you. I did in a way, the depths of my being, I knew I was coming to set the captives free. I knew that. But I didn't really believe it. And now that it's real, it's like, oh, well, God loves you or he wouldn't, it would have never happened. I would have never had the, the, the power. I would have never had the, the, the courage. I would have never had the idea. You guys see how this works? Those of you that know me that watch this. We have to understand, guys. The way the white Christian church, the the whitewashed Christian church, not the white church, the white Christian church, especially at least at least the uh, African community, jam out and they really worship. And I think it's because maybe they might be royal priesthood. Well, that's another topic for another day. The white washed Christianity church is commercialized. They sell you stuff. They want you to buy stuff. I'm not saying that like Sarah Jakes Roberts ain't good to watch. I'm not saying that. You have to discern it for yourself. But I'm saying the majority, God is sending judgment upon the majority, especially the ones that are hypocrites. Because let's face it, the Christian church are full of the worst hypocrites that ever walked the face of the planet. And that's who I'm talking to right now. I'm talking to a little bit of everybody. I'm kind of all over the place with this. But this is going to penetrate somebody's spirit. And I know it's making sense. Even though I'm not the one putting these sentences together fully, I am. Just, I know it's going to make sense. Because God's not going to sit up here. And even if I do look crazy, to those of you that think I'm crazy, this is not for you. You're not going to understand. Go ahead and judge me. You better be careful where you tread your tongue. You tread, you tread lightly when you're speaking of the chosen one because you will respect me in this season. You don't have to like me. You don't have to love me. But you will respect me in this season. 
says the spirit of the living God. Why? Because I've earned it. I've earned it for you. <laughs> That's why you will respect me. And if you don't under, if you can't comprehend it, then I don't know what to tell you. Don't watch it. Hop off my page. I don't need you to, I don't need your views to make this video. Just so you're aware. I don't need your share to make this video. I don't need your share to reach who it needs to reach because the spirit of the Holy, the Holy Ghost and the Trinity. God is gonna, God's not, you people still think that you can play God in people's lives and go around trying to hurt people. And, and you act like you're on, on uh, uh, you act like you're a Christian. Yet you want to, you want to completely annihilate the spirit that you have within you. And what's sad is that you guys won't even get this message. You'll never hear this message and you guys will end up, you'll end up living in this delusion forever. And it sucks, man. And it, it's sad. And I just, I'm thankful that, that I'm not one of them. And you need to thank God too. It's rare. Whoever's watching us to the end, you are a rare, rare individual. And, and you're going to, you're going to be okay because the, the words of the spirit, something has awoken you. You feel it. That's why you cry and stuff during my videos. You know what I'm saying? Because of the spirit. He knows exactly who's tied to this. He knows exactly who, and, and when you're tied to this, he's going to hit it. You thank God. You thank that man. Please don't thank me. Thank that man. And if, and if it ever is placed on your heart to sow a seed, you know, those that bless the prophet are become a blessing themselves. So keep that in mind too. And I, and I, this is not, I'm not asking you. I'm saying if you are led to. If I'm blessing you with all this value, with your salvation, by preaching you uh, the word in a way that is coming straight from the source, you know, that's value. And I know I will be rewarded for, for loving those that hate me. Rewards come in that. Rewards come in loving people that hate you. Praying for people that hate you. Praying for people that despise you. Praying for people that want you dead. Rewards come with that. From the Heavenly Father. Because that's how He wants us all to be. If everybody was like that, there would be no more pain. There would be no more suffering. There would be no more craziness going on. You know? My God, it's just... It's amazing how far me and God has came and how possible it is to change your life. I love you guys, man. And I know sometimes I get to flowing and might say things that offend people and stuff like that, but just know that it's coming out of pure love. And it's in more in nine times out of 10, it's something you needed to hear. You know, and if, and if that happens, take a break from me, but you'll be back. You'll be back because knowledge like this don't exist many places and your spirit, that, that seed, that seed's going to need watering. Remember that. Don't let it die. Don't let that seed die. In Jesus name, don't let that seed die. You have to keep feeding it knowledge. You hear me from, from now and other places and you read your word and you ask God, say, God, help me understand what's the meaning behind this. You know, and, and, and take conviction. Allow to be, allow God to convict your heart. Don't you ever think I've been convicted? I've been convicted a thousand million times. I've been brought to my knees just last night with conviction. And you just have to have mercy. You know, as you pray for mercy. I mean, you have to. I love you guys. I gotta go. And um, until next time. I am a life coach, and if you need help in this area, email me at godsglory2222. There's four twos at gmail.com. I am Caitlin Steffen. Till next time, stay up.